everyone. Welcome to MGS Coaching Football. Thanks for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Coach Sullivan here. I'm a brand new offensive coordinator at Fitchburg State University. And so I want to talk to you about um, one of our triple option based plays inside Veer that we call 1213 Veer. But when the situation arises, what will put us into what we just simply call check load. Okay. So like it says here, right, triple option gun triple, which is a whole other presentation of many. This is our inside beer. It's a check load versus three, four, C one high safety. Okay. And that's kind of the key. And so what I'm going to do is go through the key terms, no pun intended. So to help you better understand, you know, the premise behind our inside beer, again, that we call 1213 beer. And what would get us into a check load situation, which is a different perimeter block. All right. And then once I do that, I'll go through it all over here in the diagram. Okay. So the first key term is the call in the huddle is 12-13 via. All right. We get out there, go through it. We use uh, the direction on the line of scrimmage with a code. I'm not going to go through the codes. Right. But. Before all that's happening, you go through your pre-snap routine. What do you got for total numbers, right? Where's numbers one, two, and three, okay? Following our mantra of numbers, field, and angles, numbers, field, and angles, and the numbers is total numbers, right? So middle of the field here, which this is, right? It's our two-by-two, two, what we just call Detroit, right? You got to identify one, two, and three, which we have. You got to identify total numbers, which we have. And then are there any angle advantages, okay, which we have. So the angles are the same, right? The field's the same, but see, the numbers are going to be different. So let me get into that right now, all right? Number three, teach your quarterbacks. When you look and see you got one high, that means the numbers are going to be different. Meaning, they're not going to be balanced. Okay, you're going to have a numbers advantage because they got to crank the safety. You got two high. To get one high, the other safety has to be on one side or the other. It's just simple math, right? You start, you got an odd number, 11. So if they stay too high, you can chances are when the sun is covered, you can be even five and a half, five and a half. But as soon as they crank the safeties, you're going to be different numbers. So the impact that one high has is it affects the numbers, <laughs> right? Make the complicated simple. You got one safety. Now you got a numbers advantage. So you're looking for the number advantage. Okay. And so what we do is we teach our quarterbacks what are the safety's numbers. The strong safety is, you know, number 20. The free safety is, number 10, just using numbers. So when you look and you only see number 10, you look for 20, you go opposite. All right? Simplify the process. You also got the play clock, right? I mean, you don't have all day. So simplify the process. Teach your quarterbacks the numbers. You see, you got 10 only. If 20's on your right, you go left. Right? Boom. Done, as the saying goes. Now, that may or may not have an effect on 1, 2, and 3. Usually it will. That means the free safety is probably number 3, which it is in this case. Okay? So that's huge. And see the diagram. Right? Is number 10 free safety, there's number 20. So you're going left because you know right now, see, you got five and a half, four and a half, half, half. They're lined up over the ball. They're both half defenders. That's why you got five and four is nine because two of the defenders are halves. You see what's going on there? That's how you come to that. Okay. That is enormous. So then you go to the lesser numbers, lesser numbers, right? Lesser, you're gonna to go to the four and a half, right? That's our first mantra, the numbers. We're going to the four and a half because the angles are the same, the field's the same, right? And number three 
is further away, right? One, two, you don't ever, really, the cornerback's never going to be number three. So there's number three. And he's well inside the tackle box, right? He's an NDB, baby. He's a thirds defender, okay? So anytime number three is inside the tackle box, that's automatic check load. Automatic. Okay, so we'll make that call on the line. Again, I'm not going to give you our codes, but the uh, left A back in this case, because he's going to hear the code telling him we're going left. So now it's 13 beer. Okay. Lesser numbers. Left equals 13. Sorry, load. It's the same inside veer, okay? Now the load is the perimeter scheme. 13 veer, the perimeter scheme is ABAX arc and three, right? It's the same running play, okay? So now he's making the call, code call for the load, which means he's going to be blocking linebacker to three. Linebacker to three, and I'll do that with you in the diagram. Okay, so now number five, right? 13 load assignments. The backside wide receiver who is over here is going to flash and get across field for most dangerous man. And the flash just between quarterback and the receiver. Okay, play side wide receiver who's the X here is going to push stock the NDB and block for the pitch outside run. Play side tackle, because of the technique on load, the A-back goes outside of one, inside of two. He veer releases, which is an inside release, right? And he goes play side linebacker to safety. Watch how we get this covered. Play side guard, base. He's not covered. He steps the B-gap. He'll block play side linebacker to anything coming from the backside. Okay. The play side A will load inside linebacker to number three. So between the A back and the play side tackle, one of them will block the inside linebacker. The other one will block the free safety. And I'll show that to you in the diagram because the inside linebacker had one or two reactions. Okay. So now let's bring this all to life. We'll start off with the backside linebacker. Flash, literally. He just pivots on his outside foot, flashes his numbers. As soon as he sees the run in the option, he gets into his across field. When he flashes, the quarterback throws him the football, catch, tuck, and burst. There it is. Boom, done. All right? So it's real quick. Pivot. Okay, now, MDM could be him. Could be free safety, most dangerous, whoever he comes and cross it with, and making sure he can see front numbers so we don't get a clip. Running up inside here over here and getting blocking in the back, that doesn't make us happy, right? So now, <clears throat> let's get to the front side. Okay, ball snapped. Push stock, get outside leverage, you're blocking for the outside run of the pitch, right? Let's go to, I'll save the center, backside guard, backside tackle for last, okay? Here is the uh, play side tackle. He's going to widen his split to four feet, okay? Widen the split to four feet. Ball snap, via release means dip and rip so you're not giving any surface. Dip, rip, inside. Sift up the second level. So now here it is, right? Play side linebacker. If the play side linebacker plugs, he'll get cut by the tackle. If the play side linebacker patches over, right, he'll get picked up by the A. So versus the patch, tackle continues up to number three. Versus the plug, he cuts here, All right? Play side guard, step the B gap, protect the B gap. 
up. If he patched over, he's looking for anything coming there. Okay? Remember, we're reading number one and number two. We're not blocking them. All right? So now, play side A gap on the snap. You essentially split outside of one, inside of two. If the play side linebacker plugs here, continue up to three. If he patches, you got to cut the inside linebacker first. Your tackle will get the safety. Right? He's further away. That's the beautiful thing. And not only is it less in numbers, number the support key is further or he's got a long way to go right <clears throat> excuse me if the inside linebacker plugs then the a back continues up to the free safety number three so that's how between the tackle and the a back you block the in play side inside linebacker to number three it's a beautiful thing so now here scooping the nose scoop the b gap he goes in tail motion. All right. One, two, three, step outside leg of the guard on that third step. Boom. Get north and south, right? Quarterback reading inside shoulder number one, and he's giving it unless those shoulders are coming down hard on B back. Then he's continuing into number two, reading inside shoulder again. But those are other presentations. Okay. So that is how and why we're going to, in a one high safety, let's go back and recap, right? When the quarterback comes out, it's very simple. First thing, look, is the center covered? He is. There's a half. If soon as you have one high look, find the strong safety by number, and that's where coaches come in, right? Remember, strong safety for this presentation is number 20. If number 20 is on your right, you're going left because you automatically know the lesser numbers are to the left because of the safeties. They cranked. And he's got to be on one side or the other. They're not going to have three defenders as half defenders. Okay, that's not too likely. Again, this is a two-linebacker set, not a three-linebacker set. Okay? So that is how and why, most importantly, we check load versus a one high safety okay so as i said at the beginning thank you for watching mgs coaching football i do really appreciate it subscribers and non-subscribers please 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 questions reach out to me at coach mj sullivan at gmail.com because i'd love to talk football